<laughs> well, it is being called a once-in-a-lifetime staging that is not to be missed. The production is chess, with music by two of the original members of ABBA and lyrics by the man who wrote Evita and Jesus Christ Superstar. And joining us this morning are chess cast members Lisa Carlin here with the green and Megan Vandehey. Welcome to both of you. It's nice to have you, you here. It's lovely to be here. Now, this game of chess that we're all familiar with, even if we don't play it, we know it's about power plays. How does that translate stage? Well, the ancient game of chess becomes a metaphor for romantic rivalries and competitive gamemanship. Mm -hmm. Power politics and international intrigue, it all kind of converges in this international chess competition. So what are we going to see on stage? Stage. When we come to the Arvada Center, as so many of your loyal subscribers do, what what are they going to encounter? You're going to see a mix, almost a battle of the bands. You've got the, the classical version fighting the rock version, and it all takes place in this almost concert venue. The music is fantastic. It's breathtaking. And I'm hoping that we'll be able to pop up some uh, video clips from the play. You're actually chess pieces on stage. Really? Yeah, literal and figuratively sort of being manipulated by the by the political climate and by the people that we're involved with personally. It's really it's really an interesting storyline surrounded by this gorgeous music. Well, you're actually doing universal themes up there. I mm -hmm. mean, big subjects. Tell us about some of them that, that uh, we'll notice. Well, I mean, it starts out obviously with two people playing a chess match, two grandmasters on the United States and the Russian side, and then they have their political part parties vying for certain sort of maneuvers to play through these two grandmasters. And then their personal lives also get in the way when they're involved with Megan's character and with my character and people's feelings start to get in the way and going after what they really want to with their heart and their passion that might go against other people's political and personal ideas. And you realize how we're all just pawns in a greater scheme. So. We are. Yeah. In life and in Truly. love. In <laughs> life and so. love and a game of chess. It's all this really, really fantastic metaphor for all and, of that. And some characters are expendable. Very much so. Sadly. Like mine. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell us, we have time to talk about our, our characters real quickly. What about yours, Megan? I play Anatoly, the, the lead Russian's uh, estranged wife, and basically... Um, I just continue fighting for him throughout the entire show. And I play the experienced second to the American master, also involved with him personally, but their relationship is deteriorated, and Florence, my character, falls in love with Anatoly, Megan's character's husband. And it's, it's a little messy, but they just decide to go for it, and everybody's situation gets all messed up from there. <laughs> Every man and woman for him or herself. Yeah, it, it sounds really like, is. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Well, this sounds really like a lot of fun and intriguing, and you opened on the 27th, how mm -hmm. are audiences reacting to it? Interestingly, I think everybody really can connect with some of the universal themes and some of everything that everyone can kind of come to this from an approachable place. And the music is just so fantastic that it can you can really get caught up in in the romanticism of it and It'll the beauty blow you of it. away. Yeah. And it's a new staging and a mm -hmm. regional premiere. That must be a lot of, uh, that must mean a lot of excitement for you backstage it as does. well as on stage. Oh, the collaborative efforts between David Nils and Kitty Hilzebeck and Rod Lansbury have been phenomenal. And just conversely so, how much we've been able to collaborate with yeah. Rod on the whole project has been really, it's, it's been, it's been fascinating. So some of these ideas, local, may go national yeah. sure. or international. Well, this is a musical that not a lot of people have the courage to do because it's so volatile, because it's, it has success in the West End, not so much success in the United States. And it's a real risk that the Arvada Center is taking to tell this story and really jump in. I wish we had more time to talk about it. Thank you so much for being Thank here, you. both of you. And Chess is on the main stage at the Arvada Center through April 15th. So get down there for more information.